The next word is parish, as in the parish priest, as in a focus not on a location or one group, but on a geography and a sense of obligation to all the people within certain bounds. So normally we think of <clears throat> my shoe store versus your shoe store. And I want people to come to my shoe store. And anybody who comes to your shoe store, probably that's bad news for me when your customers show up at your place instead of mine. Once in a while we might just say, well, increased shoe sale volume is good, but really we want it to be at our place. And churches tend to say, here's our location, we want you to come to us. Come, come here. And we will determine success by how many people come to our church. Anybody who goes elsewhere would be kind of like somebody buying shoes at the wrong store, right? But what if, what if the approach was, I'm the parish priest for this five block area and anything good that happens in this five block area is good for me. Any person who lives or comes through this five block area is somebody, somebody to whom I've been called and for whom I have a sense of obligation, towards whom I have a particular interest in showing honor and love. And when, what does it look like? I mean, we, we do this when we think in terms of our businesses and anybody who's going to be employed here comes under our protection and, and is going to have both our rules but also kind of the shaping influence of our culture behind them. But what if a group of employers all from the same town say, you know what we're really after is that 80,000 hours that somebody's going to spend on their career our desire is to have as many of those hours spent within a culture where that person and their value is going to be celebrated and honored and, and that they're going to be spending those, time, that, those hours in a setting that is more likely than not to make God visible to them. And, and not only visible, but desirable. And, and one of the things that's really frustrating is, is we have plenty of examples where, so a church can be visible, but it won't necessarily have a parish mindset. It'll be a, we want to be visible because ultimately you are a consumer and we are a vendor and our sense of calling begins and ends with our building and our little community. Not necessarily, we've been called to subdue the earth. We are salt and light, and our job is to contribute to the flavor and to slow the decay of this larger environment. So we already do that with our workplaces. We have this sense of here's this culture. But what if more and more employers can have this mindset of, I'm going to be one of the many places in this geographic setting or in this journey the parish can cut across an individual employee's life where I'm one of the employers who did a good thing in their life and, and I, I held space and I want to help other employers see what God's shown me about how to hold that space and how to, um, how to invite people's hearts to be broken by the things that draw them to the Lord. Wouldn't it be cool if, if it was possible for a business owner to think in terms of investing not only in their own business and not only in terms of giving something away um, for a nonprofit, which is you know kind of this, this siphoned off effort, but what if a collection of kings, what if people who are competitors or just not even in overlapping businesses said, I'm going to invest my time or my money or these ideas and I'm going to help you be a better employer in this parish sense because the more of us who think this way and do this way, the more the God whose first fruits is the human soul, who if the business belongs to God, then what his most important key performance indicator is, is the hearts of the people who are at that company. Well, 
What if more employers work together with a parish mindset to say, we together are going to pursue good across as many boundaries as we can because in the end, that's the thing that honors God way more than our individual successes do.